everybody, welcome to the Waldock Way, I'm Jessica. And today's video is going to be a Lakeshore learning haul. Now, if you guys follow me on social media, you saw that I posted two huge boxes and I asked if you wanted to see um, an unboxing or a haul video and 99% of you guys said yes. It is a very large order. This is going to last us all of third grade for sure and hopefully some into fourth as well. Um, and I think I got something for just about every subject as well. I will be sure to link everything that I bought in the description box down below. Most of what I bought was some sort of bundle. And um, so I will link the bundles that I purchased, but know that a lot of it is for sale individually as well. If you see one thing you like and you don't want to get it in like the bundle that I purchased, that is also an option for you. Um, also make sure that you sign up Lakeshore Learning has a ton if you sign up of different coupons. And what I did when I purchased is I put in all the different codes and just used whichever code gave me the best deal. And I think that was actually the free shipping. Um, code is the one that gave me the biggest amount off of my order because it was such a large order. All right, so without further ado, let's just jump in. I'm going to go ahead and show you all of this amazing things that I'm surrounded by. So the first thing that I have are these match and sort games. I got a few of these because I loved that the work was already done for me. You guys, no cutting, no laminating, no prepping. It's just amazing. So it's a small box. And inside this box are all these different like envelopes with all of these cards. So you just pull one out that's a different um, concept and your child would just sort them. So the concepts in this science match and sort quickies for grade two to three are simple machines, matter, force and motion, adaptation, classifying animals, parts of plants, weather, natural or man-made, and then rocks and minerals. So there's a look at what's in there okay I also got the match and sort quickies for vocabulary again it's the same concept you have the envelopes and the different things prepared in there and the skills in this one cover compound words synonyms suffixes shades of meaning multiple meaning words idioms root words and prefixes so look at what's in this one. And now, yes, Emily is in grade three, but I got grade two and three on these because I really wanted it to be something she could do independent. So it's a little bit of review and a little bit of new concepts at the same time. I also got the language skills one and the concepts in this one are pronouns, contractions, plural nouns, adjectives and adverbs, nouns, guide words, verbs, and alphabetical order. I also got, um, these were in a bundle. It was all five of them in what I believe was a social study grab and play bundle, but you can purchase each of them individually if you wanted. So it is just this grab and play game. Um, and like I said, there was five. This one is for the world. And then the United States. landforms and mapping explorers and Native Americans The next thing I grabbed was this pop to win math game. So it looks like it's kind of like similar to like trouble or sorry or something like that. You just pop the dice here and you move around the board and you have lose a turn and things like that. Um, jump ahead, go four backwards. But depending on the different colors you land on, depends on whether you have to answer math questions according to geometry and measurement, um, operation and algebraic thinking, fractions, base 10, measurement and data, etc. So I think it's going to be a really great way to practice all of those math concepts that we need to be learning this year and 
a game format, which means that she's not going to fight me on it. So I'm super excited about that. Okay, the next thing that I got was called the Mastering Math Bundle, and it's four games in that bundle. And again, each of these are available individually. So this one is Fractions of the Pizza Game. Each of these little board games, like the boards are so stinking cute. The Making Sense Money Game. The Place Value Mystery House Game. The Read the Clock Time Game. And then the next bundle was called the Reading Comprehension Bundle, I believe. Yes, Reading Comprehension, and it was level one. Um, I do believe there's a level two. There may even be a level three. The first one is called the Adventure Camp Sequencing Game. And it's like this cute little summer camp board. And then Pirate Island Reading for Details Game. Again, I can't wait to open these. I'm telling you guys, these little game boards are adorable. The Kooky Carnival Context Clues Game. The Star Power Premiere Following Directions Game. I think I'm the most excited for this one. When I opened it, Emily was like, I need help following directions. Yes, boo. Yes, you do. That's why mommy bought it. <laughs> Um, extra, extra, an informational text game. And then the last in that bundle was um, Skate Park Rally, a predicting outcomes game. And... You guys, I stacked all of these games on top of the last thing I have to show you. Hang on. So the last thing I have to show you is um, we bought the third grade one to try last year, and we really, really liked it. So I went ahead and bought fourth grade, and it's Are You Ready for Fourth Grade Game Show. So at the end of the year, um, it plays kind of like Jeopardy slash Game Show, and you have all of these cards in math and language arts. Um, and then challenge cards and they can earn money by answering all of the different questions and then what's really cool is you have these score sheets and you can put in their score and based off of what they got wrong it would tell you like exactly what you need to work on with your child so we will use this at the end of third grade so at the end of the school year I think I'm just going to kind of make it what would be like an exam week um, and we will just play this every day for a week to review from third grade and see if there's anything that we need to, you know, dedicate to work on the summer with. Um, but it was just a really fun way. Like we did it over the summer with the Are You Ready for Third Grade one. And I realized how much fun it was. And it reviews, like I said, all math and language arts, things that a child should know for that grade. You guys know how I feel about should know things, but it was a fun way to review most of the things we had learned from the year. So I did go ahead and get the fourth grade one for what would be the end of this coming school year um, going into the next. So technically I bought it a year early, but I was already placing an order. So I figured I might as well just go ahead and get it. 